our book for today is My Puppy Has a Motorcycle. It was written by Isabel Quintero and illustrated by Seque Peña. My puppy has a motorcycle. From him, I have learned words like carburetor and cariño, drill and dedication. When I hear his gray truck pull into our driveway, I run outside with both of our helmets. My puppy, the carpenter, is covered in sawdust and smells like a hard day at work. His hands are rude from building homes every day, his job since he first arrived in this country. But even though he comes home tired, he always has time for me. When our city is winding down, he takes me for a ride. Today, he's going to show me the new houses he's working on. Papi is careful with my ponytail, and he pulls my helmet tight. When he lifts me onto the smooth black seat, his hands don't feel rough. They don't feel tired. They feel like all the love he has trouble saying. Lista? Sí. Si. Papi revs the engine, and the smell of gasoline hits me as he squeaks the accelerator. Con cuidado! Be careful! The motor rumbles and rolls. Agarrate! Hold on! And then we take off. Vroom. The shiny blue metal of the motorcycle glows in the sun. The sun, the sun, the bright orange sun is on its way down, turning our sky blue and purple and gold. We become a spectacular celestial thing soaring on asphalt. A comet! The sawdust falling from Pappy's hair and clothes becomes a tail following us. Pappy seeks us through the streets. We pass Abuelito's church and Tortilleria La Estrella and stop for a stray cats crossing in front of us. Mommy thinks there is too many of them, but I think that there is just enough. We pass Joyce Market where Mommy buys my gummy bears. Mr. Garcia, our librarian, is walking out the door and notices us. We know the bag. This is how we always greet each other. We roar past murals that tell our story of citrus groves and immigrants who work them, and of the famous road race that took place on Grand Boulevard a hundred years ago. Now I know they were stopping at Don Rudy's Raspados. Daisy! But as we near the shop, we see that it's empty and out of business. I can tell Papi is disappointed. I imagine the smell of the sweet syrups that Rudy used to flavor our shaved ice. I won't be the only one who misses him. As we ride on, I feel and hear everyone and everything we pass by. Each sound landing in my ears reveals whole neighborhoods inside me. No matter how far I go from this place or how much it changed, the city will always be with me. We cruise by abuelitos and abuelitas old yellow house, the one with the lemon. With the lemon tree that grew from the seeds and lemons from Abuelito, used to pick no far from here. Mommy says we are going to visit them tomorrow to cut nopales from their garden and eat herbie albondigas in Abuelito's kitchen, where their food always tastes better. 
We turn the corner and then... ¡Mija! ¡Adiós, mi reina! ¡Adiós! The dogs behind the fence go wild. Frankie, the Lopez's Labrador, escapes from her yard and runs after us. Mercedes Lopez, the fastest runner in our class, races after her. Then, just as fast, the dogs barking and Mercedes and Frankie becomes a soft hush in the distance. They are behind us! We ride toward the new homes replacing the last of the citrus robes. The painters, drywallers, and floor layers all greet us, but we can barely hear their words, aiming the sound of hammers and air compressors. ¿Trabajando duro, muchachos? A little bit, not too much. Even in all that noise, my papi's voice touches everything. This is my favorite part. On Grand Boulevard, we lean into the curve of the street. I make believe that we are in one of the races that took place here so long ago. It's our last lap, and we have to win. The crowd cheer us on. I feel Papi's smile, and I squeeze my arms tighter around him. We fly around the circle, there is the school where we practice soccer. There is the post office where Mr. Charlie takes us our letters. And La Panaderia, where Papi buys conchas on Sunday morning. Vamos, Papi! Faster, faster! Here it, here it is, all of our beautiful city. My eyes try to catch everything but the color of houses. Blend into one another red, blue, green, orange, pink. We ride, ride, ride until the blue cloud from the motorcycle begins to dim. And our comic tail has been left behind on the streets we have traveled. We have hung and slowly the engine echoes us back onto our street and then our driveway our finish line. Mommy and little brother hear the motorcycle and run out to greet us. Mommy wave us in, just like I referred. Papi and I can stop laughing. We had a good ride. Through our ladder, I hear a familiar sound. Raspados! I think about my city and all the changes that it's been through, and all the changes that will come. Chicle y fresa, por favor. But I know that here in our little house, there are things that will always stay the same. Mañana, we fly it again. The end.